Hello. Hello. Hello, long time, sorry, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got asked recently, um, and I get asked all the time, once, um, what's better, the 80mm lens or the 110 lens? Um, that's not a scratch, is it? No. Um, the short answer is they're both very good. What do you use them, what do you want to use them for? If you're, sorry, I just had a large slice of cake. If you are looking for pure play portrait photography, if that's what you do, and don't have illusions about this because this isn't tremendously good for anything else, if you like to take portrait photography and you have the space to do it, this is the lens that you should buy. It's the 110. It weighs 1.2. I've got, I've actually got a scale here. It weighs one, nearly 1 1.2 kilos. Okay, that's not light. To convert that into pounds, just go to Google. Um, but if you if you are a pure play portrait photographer, you are going to enjoy using this because it is a superior lens to the 80 millimeter in almost every aspect, except for the fact that if you're doing portraiture and other stuff, this this comes with me most occasions. I love this one, but it's so specialty and niche that if you're traveling a lot and you've got a limited size backpack or even a reasonably sized backpack, you're not going to be able to carry too much lenses to get the coverage you need. If you're just doing portraiture, this is your boy. This is the one you love. The 80 millimeter is a fantastic lens. It came out early, I've owned it since March. I've used these extensively for um, what I pass as professional work, but I'm not showing it to you guys because I can't be asked to hear your, oh, I don't like the chromatic aberration on that one. No, oh, your composition sucks. Can't be asked. Um, my, my photography is available on Instagram if you want to go and troll me. Um, Apparently people like that. I see a lot of lens reviews where people are like, oh, the rubber grips are phenomenal and show very little wear. The gaskets are extremely high quality. And from an optical, it's all bollocks. All you care about is the actual image you're getting out of the camera. This one will get you a better image in less circumstances. This is the one that if I was having my time again and I had to choose between the two, I would buy this one. It's not because, it's because I use it more. There you go. And I don't just shoot... Uh, portraits with it. You can even carry this around as a street lens if you're as built as me. Um, so I would buy this one again. The fact that I own both of them sounds nice, but I'll be honest with you, I only end up ever taking one of these with me on a shoot, and every fucking time I go, oh my god, which one should I take? I only have room for one. Um, am I going to do more portraiture, or do I want to stand a little bit back? How much space am I going to have in the shoot? Uh, so it almost always defaults to this one because mostly I'm a little scaredy cat when it comes to bringing the wrong lens. So this one I love. If ever it's in my bag, if ever it makes the cut, I'm very happy. So if you're a pure play portrait photographer, no brainer decision. If you're on the fence and you kind of fuck with portraiture and other stuff, other stuff, you're going to want to use this. So I hope that review is useful. If you want to see better YouTubers review products, go and follow better YouTubers. But you ended up here. It's on you. Goodbye.